Getting married is supposed to be a sacred ceremony between two people who love one another. So when this waitress saw her husband was the groom at a wedding, she couldn't believe her eyes. What happened next is shocking. Isabella Smith was a 25-year-old woman who, while she might not have had the most glamorous of lifestyles, was still extremely happy with her life. She had a job which earned her a decent wage, a nice house to live in, a wonderful, if not a little bit energetic, dog, and a husband who loved her with all of his heart. At least, she thought he did. When Isabella and Carlos had first met, it was as if two soulmates were finally finding their missing parts. The couple had been inseparable when they were younger and just starting their relationship. As they had loved spending time together, like most new couples, Isabella and Carlos couldn't get enough of one another. They would do everything that they could together, from grocery shopping and walking the dog to going to the gym. To get together, there was seemingly nothing that could tear the two apart. However, after the couple got married, things quickly seemed to go downhill from there. Instead of a honeymoon phase where the couple got closer and blissfully happy, it was as if the exact opposite was happening. As if a switch had been flipped, Carlos and Isabella were soon at each other's throats. Arguments would rage on for hours, with both Carlos and Isabella saying some pretty hurtful things. As well as that, the two acted as if they could barely stand to be in the same room as one another, with one always leaving as soon as they spotted the other in the same room. A couple of years went by, and Carlos and Isabella finally started to act as if things were slowly going back to normal. The two were able to be in the same room with one another without one of them starting an argument. Even more shocking was the fact that they were actually able to hold on to a somewhat pleasant conversation. Things were looking up for the couple, as not only were they finally beginning to act nice with one another, but Isabella had been offered a new job. The young woman had been out of work for a little while, as she had been made redundant from her old job due to the implementation of new technology. With the arrival of this new work, though, the young woman was able to feel as if she wasn't letting Carlos down. Money had been one of the biggest contention issues between the couple, and hopefully with her new job, they would be able to afford some things that they had had to cut back on. Still, the couple would argue more often than not over simple and silly things, such as whose turn it was to take out the trash, or who had the TV remote last. The constant arguing really depressed Isabella, who thought that married life would be much happier than it was shaping up to be. As well as that, the young woman missed the man that she had fallen in love with. Carlos had changed drastically since he and Isabella had gotten married, almost as if he was regretting his choice and was purposefully trying to drive her away. But Isabella was going to try and change things for the better. Her new job was paying her a decent wage, and the young woman thought that she might be able to rekindle hers and Carlos's love with a nice trip away somewhere remote and full of life and adventure. Isabella knew that Carlos would enjoy that, and so she began to save up all of her money from her new job as a waitress catering to large social events, such as weddings. As Isabella worked, Carlos also seemed as if he was trying to put in extra effort to make their marriage work. Instead of arguing, the couple started to talk through their problems and grievances with one another. Things were looking up for the two, and it seemed as if their relationship was going to be okay. Carlos picked up more hours at his job in the office, and before long, he and Isabella were doing okay financially. They were able to put a deposit down on a cozy two-bedroom house, which Isabella hoped would one day see the arrival of a third member of their family in terms of a baby. Although that dream was a little ways off, as the young man and woman wanted to sort out their relationship problems first. However, as time went by, Isabella began to notice that Carlos was spending a lot more time at work and away from the house. Thinking that he was simply trying his hardest to earn money to pay the mortgage and bills, Isabella also picked up more shifts to help out. She was also incredibly close to reaching her savings goals so that she and her husband could go on a brand new adventure together. All she needed to do was complete one more job and she should have enough money for the two of them to go to an exotic new land. And not long after this, the young woman received a job to be a waitress at an upcoming wedding. The bride and groom were willing to pay a decent amount for exceptional staff, so Isabella accepted the job immediately. The day of the wedding arrived, and Isabella was excited to complete her final job before she went on the adventure of a lifetime. The young woman got dressed in her most professional waitress clothes and headed off to the wedding venue. Once there, she made sure to do all of the setup needed so that she was prepared for when the guests arrived. 
When the wedding guests finally started to trickle into the reception venue, Isabella went around offering drinks and making sure everyone had whatever they might want or need. Eventually, the young woman noticed a crowd forming near the front of the venue and speculated that the bride and groom had arrived. Isabella smiled and began to make her way over to where the new couple would be. She loved seeing how happy newlyweds were and always adored seeing them celebrate their love. But as Isabella finally caught sight of the bride and groom, she couldn't believe her eyes, and she froze in shock. Standing right in front of her, looking lovingly at the bride, was Carlos, her husband. Isabella didn't understand what had happened. Why was Carlos with the bride? He couldn't be the groom, could he? As the man looked up at the crowd, he spotted Isabella, and his face paled. Carlos took a step towards Isabella, but the young woman turned around and stormed off. She couldn't believe what Carlos had done, especially because she thought that their relationship was picking back up. Devastated, Isabella returned home, where she immediately began to pack all of her things up. She didn't wait for Carlos, who she doubted would show up anyway, and instead booked a ticket to the first country she could think of using the money she had saved for her and her husband. Then she set out on her very own adventure. A year passed by, and Isabella had returned to her home country after many months of traveling. As she was making her way to her new home, though, she was surprised to see Carlos waiting for her on her front step. Immediately, the woman frowned and asked him what he was doing there. Carlos explained that he missed Isabella and that he was sorry for what he had done. He had married Chloe, his co-worker, as he had felt that Isabella and his relationship was pretty much over. However, after living with Chloe, Carlos came to see that Isabella was the one for him and wanted her back. Isabella stood for a few moments before bursting into laughter. She told Carlos that she had no interest in going back to him. In the year that they had been apart, the woman had had more fun and felt more free than she had in years. She finally felt like her old self again, and she didn't want to lose that simply because he wanted her back. Isabella told Carlos that she wanted to be with someone who loved her for herself not someone who ran away when things got difficult. With that said, Isabella proceeded to go into her home, happy in the knowledge that while she might not have a partner for the time being, she didn't need one as she was happy with herself. It just goes to show that sometimes you need to rediscover who you are as a person in order to be truly happy. If you like this story and think it might have a positive meaning, you can share it with your family and friends. We would also love to hear your comments about this story. Thanks for watching and have a great time.